So I'm gonna go ahead with my first layer. You know, I usually like to do forearm pieces. So I'll go ahead and tap in my forearm. If you didn't catch that, I tapped with two fingers to undo. You can get these also from the link in my bio. But I like to stretch it out as much as I can, so I'll just go ahead and get that hand out of there. I wanna make the image as large as possible. And then the first thing I do is open up the layer. I click this N, there's an N right there. I tap it and then I dial down the opacity. So that lightens it up, it makes it somewhat transparent. Get it pretty light, but to where I can still see it. And then I open up a second layer to start working on. That way the tattoo stands out from, I guess you could say the template. And then I'll just start applying brushes the RIP set that I just released. And then of course you can do a flower. Then of course we could do like a RIP across the top. Another memory. Stretch that out. I think that's decent. Go ahead and of course they're gonna put, you know, their loved one's name. So we get the banner. And pay attention, I'm opening up a a, a separate layer for every uh template that I put in. I'll open that up. I like that. I'm gonna go to free form and stretch it a little bit. I like this, but I think I wanna move the bird up a little bit now. So I'm gonna go back to the layer that has the bird on it, as you can see, tap on that. Tap my little arrow so that way I can move it. And that's why it's important to have every element on a separate layer. Okay, I'm on the bird, so the bird is behind the banner, so I'm gonna go ahead and erase what I don't need. Yeah, I like that. I'm gonna erase this leaf. Oh, that there. Looking good, looking good. Open up another layer. Put some clouds. Go back to uniform. I don't want it stretching all over the place. That looks pretty good. Open up another layer. I want to flip this around. Down here you have those options. You do uh, flip horizontal. Matter of fact, I want to flip it back. I like that. And then what I'll do is I'll merge them. You can pinch them together. Uh, pinch them together. And that way, I, I, that way I can erase them both at the same time. Clean it up a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Now I'm adding just soft elements in the background. But the tattoo is basically already done. And once you shade this and everything, it's gonna have a clean look. It's gonna be visible. And word of mouth is going to go crazy. Everybody going to want to know who did it. And now you're rich. <laughs>